Hello, Mr. Briggs with another art class here on our e-learning platform at Bethune Academy. Remember, you are an artist and this is your time and space to create art. And in each class, we'll talk a little bit about what do artists do. Um, when I say this is your time and space to create art, um, in our art class, you can create, so you can create right after this video. And um, since you're working from home, if there are other times that you would like to create, you're welcome to do that as well because you are the artist. Our studio habit of mind for today is engage and persist. With engage and persist, you can learn to embrace problems of important, importance and develop focus within your work. I myself have been using engage and persist today as I have worked to create this video. Um, this is about my fifth attempt at, at um, recording this. Um, and the figure in the painting over here called On Top of the World by Kehinde Wiley um, to me is a symbol of persistence and um, working towards um, solutions to problems. Um, the raised fist or a clenched fist is a universal symbol of solidarity and support. It is also used as a salute to express unity, defiance, or resistance. Um, the artist is also showcasing our, our principle of design, which is pattern. Some key vocabulary for today is motif, and that is a decorative design, kind of like this asterisk shape or um, star shape. And a pattern is a choice of lines, colors, or shapes that's repeated over and over in a planned way, or um, the repetition of a motif, because a decorative design is made with lines and shapes and um, colors. Uh, here we have a pattern by repeating those motifs. And repetition, that's just the act of repeating something over and over again. I'd like you to look at this artwork and think about how has the artist used pattern? What shapes and colors are repeated? Joyce Kozloff created Hidden Chambers, um, and it's a painting which is acrylic paint on canvas. Um, acrylic paint is the paint that you, you may have used just a little bit in the art studio with me, Mr. Briggs. Um, and hopefully when you come back, we'll, we'll have some acrylic paint to use as well. Um, it's, it's something that we is a little more advanced to use um, because it doesn't wash out and it, it kind of turns to a plastic when it dries. Um, oftentimes it's used by much older artists, well, older I mean like um, high school artists or, or adult artists. But I'd like you to think about how, how Joyce has used pattern, where she's used repetition, and what kinds of shapes and lines and colors do you see? So what will you do? One of our state standards is that students can manipulate art media and incorporate a variety of subject matter to create imaginative artwork. So you can use a lot of different art media, markers, crayons, paint, um, cut paper and collage, glue. Um, maybe you'll find some materials around the house that you'd like to, to use. Those can all be art media. And you can incorporate a variety of subject matter. Subject matter is just what you're making your artwork about. Maybe it's about your pet or your family, or maybe it's about um, food, or um, maybe it's about frogs or castles. Um, whatever your artwork is about, that's the subject matter. So I would like you to create a pattern using different art, material, art media and a subject of your choice, or create an artwork with patterned elements, like a, a person wearing patterned clothing. Check it out. There's another video here um, listed on Schoology, and in the video, you will see a variety of ways to make patterns. Also check out this patterned artwork by artist Romero Brito, entitled Brito's Garden. It was painted in 2000. Have fun and keep creating.